Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now, a big surprise for me today, and uh, I'm sure it doesn't happen to many people, but uh, I, I got up a little bit late this morning. I had a good night's sleep, and uh, I opened the back door, and guess what was outside the back door? Look at the size of this parcel. And I know I haven't ordered anything, or anything like that. But then I guessed who it was from. It's from a lady who lives in Florida, who you probably all know because uh, she writes on many people's channels in the comments. And it's Valerie Dowerty. And she sent me this all the way from Florida. I don't know what's in it. I haven't opened it yet. So I'm just going to open it now and have a look. I'm very intrigued. Let's open it up and have a look what's in it. Oh, it's perlite. Oh, that's lovely. Absolutely brilliant. This is a large perlite that we can't get anymore. And a huge bag of it. What can I do? Wow. Thanks very much, Valerie. Wow, it's some weight. It must have cost you a fortune to do it over here. I mean, That. I mean, you can't understand the kindness and generosity of people, can you? Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Just what I needed. Oh, let's put a big smile on my face, that. Well, I hope you can see it. I hope it's picking it up, the camera, because it's 19 pound weight of uh, perlite in here. Half inch size perlite. Absolutely fabulous. Now I'll just show you the difference in sizes of what we can get in the UK and what Valerie sent over for me. That's the one we can get in the UK. Very, very small stuff. And this is the one she sent. Now look at that. What a difference. What a difference. And as you all know that perlite is very good at retaining moisture and holding nutrients and it holds the nutrients uh, until the uh, until the plant roots wants uh, wants feeding, so it can draw its nutrients from the uh, from the perlite. And perlite at this size does add a lot more air into the medium, so uh, I'm going to find this very very beneficial. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, I'm going to water one of my frags, and I'm going to put at least. 30% of this perlite in. Now I'll just show you the difference in sizes of what we can get in the UK and what Valerie sent over for me. That's the one we can get in the UK. Very, very small stuff. And this is the one she sent. Now look at that. What a difference. What a difference. And as you all know that perlite is very good at retaining moisture and holding nutrients and it holds the nutrients uh, until the uh, until the plant roots wants uh, wants feeding so it can draw its nutrients from the uh, from the perlite and perlite at this size does add a lot more air into the medium so uh, I'm going to find this very very beneficial and what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to repot a Phragmopedium and a Paphiopedilum uh, using this, uh, this new perlite I've got, this large perlite. And uh, I'm going to use at least 30 to 40% of this in the mix, just with bark and nothing else. And uh, that should be interesting, just to keep an eye on it, to see... Uh, to see if there is a lot of improvement in it, which I think there should be. 
Well, these are the two plants I'm going to repot. One is a uh, Phragmopedium grandi, the taller one, and the smaller one is the Fra uh, Paphia pedalum Prince Edward of York. Now, it will give me the opportunity to have a look what the roots are like on this before I start and have a look at them in uh, six months, 12 months time to see what they're like with this large perlite in. We'll take this grandy out of its pot and we'll have a look what the roots are like, see if they're doing anything. They should be growing a little at this time of year but uh, they looks like it's doing absolutely nothing this one. The roots are hard. Oh, just move. Yep, there are new growing tips. I'll just get the camera and have a quick look. Yeah, there aren't many roots, but if you look closely, you can see that it's got some new, new growth coming on there. So this is the right time to repot it. So we'll get on with that, there's, uh, there's nothing there, there's a little new growth there. But the plant itself is, I don't know, it's a, it's a funny colour really for me and a, a bit of brown on it and uh, not really what I like. But we'll see what it's like when, uh, well in another six months or so. Well you can see there aren't many roots in here but what there are, the roots are hard and if you look closely you can just see new root growth starting. A couple there and, uh, and one over here as well. So we'll get this into the new medium. I mean with the roots now just starting it's a perfect time to put the new medium in. And we'll take the Paphia Pedalum out of its pot as well. And by rights, this should be starting some new growth as well. But we'll soon find out. There's no new growth down the uh, the top there. But, uh, let's have a look what it's like inside. Well, it doesn't look all that pleasing. It looks a bit of a mess actually. Let's see how long it is since this was done. There's some moss in it. And I don't like moss. But uh, I can't feel any bad roots yet. But I'm sure there must be some. But we'll get rid of all this, uh, this old bark because this one hasn't been uh, repotted for quite some time. So this one will uh, appreciate it. I'll just get rid of all this and, uh, and clean it up. And then we'll have a look at it then. Well, we'll do the Paphia Pedalum first because uh, they require a little bit more uh, size in the bark. So uh, we'll mix that one first, which is the... Uh, this is slightly bigger, it's about half inch to three quarters, this one, and there's the amount of uh, perlite I'm putting in. So uh, we'll mix this all together and we'll get the uh, Paffy Pedal potted up. What we'll do first, we'll give the, uh, the medium a good spray in and everything will stick to it. Just give it a good feel. You'll find it easier to put in the pot. Right, that's that. So we'll mix it all together. I've 
it's a little bit too much stuff for this one to do for something else. Just lift it up just a little bit. After your pedals, you know you need the uh, you need just the top of the crown of the roots under the uh, under the medium. it the more the uh, the gaps get filled up right we'll put the label back in if I can find it be somewhere around nope. So that's the uh, Baffy Pedlum Prince Edward of York potted up. So now we'll do the uh, Fragmapedium. Well, I've got the uh, labels now. I'd, I'd only thrown them away with the uh, the bike I took out. So I've got them both back now, thank goodness. Well, this is a much smaller bike for the uh, Fragmapediums because they like to be uh, wet all the time. And if it was a larger uh, bike in there, didn't need watering more often so I'm going to water these again and mix it all together and then we'll pot up the uh, the grandy. Right we'll just uh, give this a good spray in make sure it's nice and wet before we put it in and run out in a bit but we've plenty for this one We'll give it a good watering when it's all potted up as well. Right, mix that together. again put some of this in the bottom because the roots on this rag don't reach the uh, bottom of the pot no, a bit more yet make sure we get all the roots in yep that's about right so we'll just put the rest of this in. It's a funny piece of art. Well, you don't plant these fragment pediums uh, uh, as deep as the puffier pediums. You just want to see the bottom of the plant. Because if you plant these too deep, you're liable to get rot right down the bottom. I mean, it's a silly thing to say really, when these sort of living water, this will want to... Uh, 
on staking up as well. I can hold it a bit by pressing it against the sides. But yep, that will want to uh, want propping up a little bit. Well, we've got that one now staked up and uh, the label put back in, so there's nothing more to do to this though, but to uh, just to give it another good watering to make sure it's wet through. So uh, that's what I'll do now, but I won't show that on video. What I'll do now is thank you all for watching, to thank Valerie again for that beautiful perlite, and thank all my subscribers, and until next time, I'll see you all later.